What if I told you that our dream retirement in Greece is not just for the wealthy? Planet of expats retirees live comfortably in Greece for less than $1,500 a month. That's right, for the cost of a little studio in many US cities, you could be enjoying a laid-back lifestyle in a beautiful Greek town. In 2023, the number of American retirees interested in moving to Greece increased by 40%. But why? Is it the lower cost of living, the private healthcare system, or something else entirely different? Here is the answer. It is something else. Something that almost no country in Europe can offer you. Before we start, I want to grab a pen and a paper and jot down your current monthly expenses. By the end of this video, you will see how much cheaper your life could be in Greece. You also discover the best places to live with the highest quality of life for the lowest cost. But before you pack your bags, let's discuss the pros and cons of retiring Greece. Let's begin with the pros. The first is not the most important yet, but it's already famous worldwide. The climate. Greece has a Mediterranean climate, ideal for both wine and humans. Yes, it's a curious aspect. Where there are wineries, there is likely good weather. Only a few places in the world have this ideal climate for a pleasant life. Parts of Chile, South Africa, Australia, California, and the Mediterranean coast. And Greece is itself a Mediterranean archipelago. Imagine waking up to 300 days of sunshine a year. If you are from London, that might be hard to imagine. That's reality in most parts of Greece. The Mediterranean climate isn't just pleasant, it's great for health. Mild winters and warm summers make it easy to stay active year-round. Running, swimming, and walking are all easier in good weather. This climate may partially explain the next advantage of our list. Greece has an unusually high life expectancy. The average Greek lives 82 years. This is more than richer countries like Germany, the UK, and much more than the US. They not only live longer, but also live healthier lives. Researchers worldwide are trying to understand why Greeks have some of the healthiest hearts and brains on the planet. This likely has something to do with our next advantage, Greek cuisine. You won't find Arby's or Waffle House in Greece. Instead, locals enjoy a diet rich in healthy fats like olive oil, along with vegetables, fruits, and lean proteins. Have you ever heard of the famous Mediterranean diet? By the way, tarama salata is my favorite dip, it's unbelievably tasty. The Mediterranean diet became famous after scientist Ansel Keys proved that it increased longevity and improved heart health. But what you probably don't know is that Dr. Ansel Keys, who lived until 100 years old, made his study based on the diet of the Greek island of Crete. Crete is famous worldwide for having so many people more than 100 years old. Besides great weather and a healthy diet, there is a third factor that makes life in Greece good for expatriates: the private healthcare. Private healthcare in Greece is high quality and affordable, so much so that many foreigners travel there for certain procedures. It's currently one of the top 15 destinations for medical and health tourism in the world. For example, a cataract surgery in Greece will cost you on average $1,400. In the US, the same procedure will cost between $3,500 to $7,000. A visit to a doctor might cost less than $50, while prescription medications are often much cheaper than in the US. A box of cephalexine 250mg, an antibiotic, with 60 tablets, will cost less than $50 in Greece, while in the US, if you're lucky, you pay the double. Moreover, many doctors in Greece are Western trained and speak fluent English. Another reason Greeks live longer is because it's a very safe country, except for a certain parts of Athens, as I discussed in a previous video. Greece has an homicide rate of 1.13 per 100,000 residents per year. The safest state in the US, Maine, has a homicide rate higher than that, 1.7. Boston, Massachusetts, has an homicide rate of 8.3. So even Boston is seven times more violent than Greece. And the most surprising thing is that, despite Greece being safer, having a better climate, healthier food, and Greeks living much longer lives, the cost of living in Greece is much cheaper than nearly anywhere in the US. Because this is our next pro, and I bet this is the one that we're really expecting, the low cost of living. But when you talk about low costs, 
one disclaimer is important. What we'll say next is not valid for Athens. Athens, being one of Europe's largest cities and the Greek capital, is more expensive. Moving on, Greece has low costs in many areas of life, even for basic things. For example, a male haircut in Thessalonic will cost you only 10 euros. In smaller cities, it's likely even cheaper. Groceries in general are also cheaper. One kilo or two pounds of tomatoes will cost you around 1.5 euros, 1.7 dollars. In the US, the price would be at least twice this. This also applies to other food staples like bread, potatoes, apples, and even beer. All of them cost around half of the price in the US. The only food product that I found really expensive in Greece is milk. And that is curious because this is the same phenomenon I saw in Italy. Why milk in Mediterranean nations is so expensive? If you have an idea, please let me know in the comment section because I I'm really curious. And since we are talking about the cost of living, here is a good surprise. Hot water is very cheap in Greece for most of the year because most houses and buildings are equipped with solar heaters. This is what a local told us about the cost of living in Greece. Open quote. $1,500 per month is more than enough in Greece. If you live in some village, you'll be one of the richest guys in the village. Close quote. There are, however, certain things that are more expensive in Greece than in most European countries. One of them is gasoline. Yes, gasoline there is crazy expensive. And I, I mean Scandinavian prices for fuel. Now you must be asking about the housing, right? After all, this is the most important component of the cost of living. The thing with housing is that it varies tremendously between cities. Very soon I will show you the housing price in three Greek cities, and believe me, you'll be shocked at how affordable they are. Because now is the time for the biggest positive factor of all. But before, I would like to ask a small favor. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. So, this really good pro of Greece is their recently launched foreign pensioners tax regime. It's a government program that allows foreign pensioners living in Greece to pay much lower taxes than normal. Here are some of the highlights. First, foreigners who qualify for the program will pay only 7% income tax on their pensions from abroad. Second, they will also only pay 7% income tax on foreign income like dividends, interest, capital gains, etc. Third, members of the program will also be able to deduct from these 7% the taxes that they paid for their home country if there is a double taxation treaty. Fourth, all these privileges will extend for up to 15 years during your residence in Greece. Now, to put into perspective how attractive is this program, let's compare it with other countries in Europe. If your annual income is $50,000, in Spain you will pay around 27% of income taxes, meaning $13,500 per year. In France, you would lose 16% of your pension in income taxes, or almost $8,000 per year. In Portugal, with the same income, you pay 10% of income taxes, meaning $5,000 per year. In Greece, however, if you qualify for this special tax regime, your income tax will be only $3,500 per year. This is probably one of the most attractive tax regimes for foreign pensioners in the European Union. Italy has a similar program, but it's valid only for those who live in small cities, less than 20,000 residents in southern Italy. In Greece, however, it's valid for the entire country. But no place is perfect. And now let's talk about some challenges you might face in Greece. The most visible of all is the crowdedness during high tourism season. Popular Greek island and cities can become very busy during this season. Traffic surges, prices go up. In the peak summer season, the water supply might even be disrupted in some islands. But this is not everywhere. In fact, most locations are well prepared to receive tourists. Another issue that might be a reason for concern is healthcare. As I said before, private healthcare in Greece is affordable and high quality, but it's not available everywhere. In larger cities like Thessalonica or Patras, you'll find modern hospitals with English-speaking staff. But if you're dreaming of retiring to a small island, be prepared for limited medical facilities. Greece also has a public healthcare system that is accessible to legal residents, 
However, the quality of facilities can vary, especially in rural areas and smaller islands. And talking about the rural areas and small towns, our next negative aspect is exactly about that. While Greece's charming villages and historic sites are beautiful, most of them are often not senior friendly. While this problem might sound petty, it can limit our ability to enjoy the country fully if you don't have good knees. Another thing that might sound small, but it can bother you, is that internet quality in Greece is bad and the price is expensive. They have one of the lowest average internet speeds in the entire Europe. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Bureaucracy. The Greeks invented the word bureaucracy. Once an Italian told us that only Greek bureaucracy is worse than Italian. They are known for its complex administrative processes, which can be frustrating for foreigners. Visa requirements, for instance, can, can be seen like a maze. As a retiree, you likely need to apply for a D visa, which requires proof of sufficient income, health insurance, and a clean criminal record. Property ownership laws for foreigners are also more complicated. While you can buy property in Greece, there are restrictions in certain border areas and islands. Another obstacle is the language barrier. Greek isn't exactly the easiest language to learn. Far from that, it has a unique alphabet and complex grammar, but don't let that discourage you. Many Greeks, especially in larger cities, speak other languages. According to the last data, 51% of the country can speak English. This is one of the highest percentages in entire Europe. However, learning some Greek will greatly improve your integration with the locals. And that's why I always recommend learning the local language. In the comment section, I will give a link for a very effective software that I use to learn languages. I said before that if you plan to retire in Greece, Athens is probably not the best idea. Instead, right now, you will discover three places that offer you, at the same time, lower costs, high quality of life, and good infrastructure. We start with Thessalonic in central Macedonia. This is the second largest city in Greece, with around 1 million people in its metro area. As with every big city, it has its pros and cons. Lots of cars and noise in certain parts, but also good hospitals, plenty of things to do, and an international airport. One good characteristic of Thessalonic is that it's considerably cheaper and safer than Athens. Locals also say that one huge advantage is it how close the city is to Halkidiki's Peninsula, which has wonderful beaches, national parks, and is just one hour drive away. The best neighborhoods of Thessaloniki for an expat, according to locals, are Kalamaria, a city by itself, Sofoli, and Tumba. However, one local alerted us that Tumba might be chaotic before and after football games. This is what a local told us about the city. Open quote. Thessalonic is the way to go. Beautiful, popular, easy to walk around, inexpensive, great people. End quote. Well, let's check what you can afford in Thessalonic with one third of the rent of a studio in Boston. This means $970 or less than 900 euros. We found this waterfront apartment with 105 square meters and three bedrooms and this majestic view for only 700 euros, $770 per month. In Boston, for a three-bedroom apartment, you would pay $5,800. And in Boston, you would not have that view or that weather. Or easy access to Tarasa Malata. Here you have all that for $770 per month. But there is a city that ranks even higher than Thessalonic for expatriates. It is Kalamata, in the Peloponnese region. It's smaller, with around 70,000 residents, but with this size, you have most of the benefits of a city without the cows and high prices. This is what a local told us, open quote. I feel it's hard to beat Kalamata as a value proposition for remote work, and it's only 2.5 hours from Athens by car, end quote. By the way, if you're a fan of olives, like me, know that this city has some of the best in the world. So what a person can rent in Kalamata for less than 900 euros? First of all, 900 euros is too much for Kalamata. You simply not need to spend all that. An apartment with two bedrooms with a stunning view of the Messenian Gulf costs only 500 euros per month, $550. In Boston, a parking spot can cost more than that. And talking about views, 
Let's talk about a place that nearly one in every two locals told us it's a good place to retire in Greece. Crete. But Crete is a big island, so we focus on a specific city, Hania, a city with 110,000 residents. Hania is a contrast to Heraklion, the capital of Crete, which is larger and not as beautiful. And if we talk about beauty, well, Hania really scores some points on this factor. While at the same time, the driving skills of the local received a fair amount of criticism. This is what a resident told us about the city. Open quote. Hania is super gorgeous, but the whole driving is different. You really have to be careful. End quote. Since the city has more tourist appeal, the prices are a bit higher. Still, there are plenty of good properties under our budget of 900 euros. Check this apartment here. I couldn't believe how good is the location. From the balcony you can see the sea. Although this lemon tree is cutting a bit of the view. And this is how close the beach is. The price? 620 euros per month, or just 680 dollars. Another city in Crete locals recommended for retirement is Retimno, not far from Hania, but much smaller, with only 34,000 people. Well, before finishing, I want to leave the words of an expat in Greece. He kind of summarized everything. Open quote. Has someone making around 2,000 dollars monthly? I find the food, landscapes, housing at the right price, private healthcare access, social life, and entertainment options in Greece, all great. Additionally, most people in Greece speak English better than in many other places. Close quote. So what do you think? Remember when I mentioned another place where you can enjoy Mediterranean weather and only pay 7% income tax? It's Southern Italy. And this is not the only great thing they have. To discover more, check this video here at your left. You'll be surprised at how many benefits places like Calabria, Sicily, and Puglia have for foreign retirees.